What's up, Collective? Welcome, 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 boys and girls, to the Karmic Circuit, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, Collective, what I need for you to do is please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. You may not even be dealing with the clown. Okay? All right? And if you're dealing with a clown, I want you to purchase a ticket. And the way you purchase that ticket is by hitting that thumbs up button. All right? Now, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, we do have a confession session stand. You can stop if you can't stay and watch the whole video and listen to the whole message. You can just, on your way out, hit that subscribe button so and the notification bell. So you will be notified the next time the karmic circus is in your town. All right? Now, those of you that's dealing with someone and they have a karmic ass family. This is a, a, a family of clowns that's inside of a tent. Okay? I'll even, this is going to be a premiere, so I will be in the comments. So... Get over there in that chat section and say hi to me, okay? And stay where you're from, okay? I'm sitting here and I'm watching. I'm watching the show right along with you, okay? But you may be dealing with a toxic family. This could be your person's family that don't like you. This could be their literal family. This can be their karmic family, okay? Uh, a, a group of individuals that don't want to see you two together, okay? Okay? Now, this could be your family that don't like your person, or your person's family may not like you. This could be a family of neighbors that lives next door to you. This could be a family of karmics that work with you, okay? So, you take it where it resonates. Whoever these karmic families are, these are members that broke up your relationship, and this is what happened. Now, this ain't going to resonate with everybody, but it's going to resonate with somebody. And if it resonates with you... Then again, purchase yourself a ticket by hitting that thumbs up button. Now, you can't just come all up in the circus and don't buy no ticket. You think I'm gonna give you all this juicy gossip and you don't buy a, and you don't purchase a ticket? And you can't go in there and sit in the audience by yourself because you may get, you know, pulled in and they may throw your ass on the floor with them and you may become a part of the show. So you don't take the red balloon that's being offered to you. From the circus clowns. Okay, are you dealing with the clown? Is your your family? It, it could be your own family that's the clowns. I'm sitting here trying to trying to shuffle these cards up real good for y'all. Before I tell you what's the energy surrounding your karmic family. This could be your family. This could be your person's family. This can be your neighbors. You are stronger. You gathered your strength. Somebody juggled you. Okay. That's the overall energy. You was dealing with somebody who had more than one person. And their family is the one who either introduced it, introduced them to them, to that person, had something to do with them, cheating on you with that person. Um confirmation. And you got over this shit. You gathered your strength and you walked away from this circus. said bye Felicia yes I'm using my own cards that I made so yeah you got strong and you walked away from the shit bye Felicia you said not my monkey not my circus so you was dealing with somebody in their family mm -hmm. what I say cold family manipulation spell work and they got a ringleader who they sitting up there you know that's balancing on the ball a bunch of fucking clowns you said you ain't a part of that. Bye, Felicia. So how they manipulate this person. They talked against you. How, and what is the manipulation when it comes to this cult family? What is the manipulation that they were going towards the collector's person? What is the manipulation? Juggling again. 
juggling you with the third party. Now, the manipulation can be um, addictions. It could be, this person could be uh, a workaholic and they was spending more time at work than with you. Um, this could also be somebody cheating. Okay? And they call family had some, had, was manipulating this person into this, do this. Again, this is not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Okay. So, Spirit, show me the energy between the collective and their person. Since this uh, masculine was juggling, or this feminine was juggling. The message for the collective that's dealing with the cult family was the energy surrounding the collective that's dealing with the karmic family. It's the energy. Time is up. Addictions out here twice. No stability. See this this person confirmation. This person they wouldn't they wouldn't take time out to be with you. They wouldn't show no love to you. Okay, and there was no stability or security in this relationship. Because this person, family, was all up in their shit. Now, again, this don't have to be somebody you was dealing with um, on a sexual basis. It can be just a friend of yours. These can be your neighbors who you call as friends. Okay? They could have been interfering in your relationship or something like that. It's addictions out here twice. Somebody is either codependent on addictions or obsessed. Someone is controlling. You can be dealing with the narcissist. You said bye basically to all of this shit that's coming out in the cards. You you gathered your strength and you told them bye. Okay? You told them bye to they, they, they manipulation. How they was, you know, had your person, you know, doing shit, cheating on you. You said time's up. Okay? And now this person is heartbroken. Because they allowed their family and their friends to come in and manipulate them. Tell me more about this karmic family, these clowns, with the energy. If you know you're dealing with the karmic clown, then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Yeah, it's getting hot in here. I got a candle burning. It smells so good, though. Okay. Give me two more, Holy Spirit. Two more. Surrounding the collective re relationship and this cult family. See, now your person can be in a dragonfly enemy. Energy. I meant energy. Now, this, these are in the enemy. Okay. This, this person was struck by arrows, Cupid's arrow. But they got their family who came and snatched that shit away from them. So, we're just going to pull some more cards to find out. You know, now you're, since you told this person, bye, Felicia, you're doing great things in your life, like you balling, and this person is losing sleep. Yep, you came out of the chaos and conflict. Yep, 
Yeah. You let them have the last word. This could be somebody who was, um, you know, they would say mean things to you, wouldn't worry about your feelings, and then they give a fuck. That's because they had they their their family, a clown family, you know, telling them to speak to you in negative ways. Okay. They tried to take you down, but you got the last laugh. Now this person is feeling trapped in their emotions. And he's saying that my ex did black magic on me and now I'm cleansing my energy from their space. So this is this is your ex's family. Your not your ex's family. This is your ex's karmic ex that did spell work on him. This is their family. Okay? A karmic energy. Okay. With a smart ass mouth where you told him to shut the fuck up. This is a clown. They want to reunite or reconcile with you and you telling them no. True friend indeed. You can trust this individual, but they sold they sold for money. Okay. Someone told them that they was pregnant to break y'all up. And you've healed from this. Somebody's person was in a closet and they, they could be stalking you. So watch your surroundings because this person may be reaching out to you soon. But see, I see you sitting on your throne looking great. And you need to protect your energy because while you sitting out there on your throne looking great, false people want to enter your space. And see, these people are just coming around to be a squirrel just trying to get a nut. They want to have some of your beautiful energy and they envy your success. But you, you already, you know, you know these people are just coming to waste your time. And it's going to be hard to fuck over you because you've been there and done that. Now this person is saying, I want to take you out and spend more time with you because they paid a practitioner and they're coming to see if they sex match is going to work. And um, it's the energy of a, a, a racist out here. Someone is a hidden racist. Okay, but you telling this person, I've been there and done that. Spirit is saying, do nothing. Speak nothing. Just observe. Do not react. Okay. Now, because you've done that, this person is bitter because you don't need them no more. And they had a side piece out there that wanted your spot. This person, they, they used to have big pride, a big ego, a big spender, but they ain't got that no more. They was looking down on others. But see, now you chilling and relaxing. They can't handle it. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay. This is a master manipulator, so Spirit is saying to be aware of this person. And if they have any keys to any of your possessions, uh, reclaim your keys, okay? Because this person, they may be trying to come towards you empty-handed and ashamed, and they secretly hating on your success. And when they come to you telling you that I can be a king if you let me, don't believe them. They could be telling you I'm sorry for, for what I did. Um, I met you when I was going through a breakup. You know, but this person has a weakness for the same sex. Their name can start with the letter B. Um, I hear Blake, Billy, Bobby. This person could be your best friend. And they're now trying to tell you that they are disappointed in the choices that they've made. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they can't eat. They can't sleep. They miss you like crazy. And now they're recruiting haters to jump on the hater train because you reclaimed your time. Mm-hmm. You having happiness, sunshine, joy, you abundant. And Spirit is saying for you to tell this person no when they come towards you because they have fuckboy energy and they will never change. Mm -hmm. You caught them. And you heard it, you, you've heard it, and you floated over the pain and the hurt that they caused you. This person, you caught them doing something early in the morning. Okay, here's some lies and deception. You caught them. Mm -hmm. And now they want to waste your time and shit. But see, they're no longer rejected. I mean, listening to. This female clown that wanted them to reject your love. They're not listening to her no more. Mm-hmm. You told this person when you leave, you listening to Jasmine Sullivan. When you leave, don't forget to pick up your feelings. Okay? This person, somebody, you know, didn't want you to have fun. They didn't want you to be happy. It was toxic love, and they're trying to pull you back in. So you better, those of you that's not burning your sage, um, not taking your spiritual baths, you better protect your energy. Because this is somebody who juggled you. They juggled you with somebody else. And you could be carrying the energy of different people on you. So what you do is you take a spiritual bath. and pour half a cup of salt in your bath. 
And if you want to make it a luxury bath, you put some bubbles in there and put you some oil in there and pour you some milk in there and get you some fresh flowers, flower uh, cuttings and put in your bath or some rose petals and listen to some affirmations and burn your white candle and think positive. Start manifesting. Okay, burn your little candle if you can. If you don't have a candle, just take the spiritual bath and listen to some some uh, affirmations with some salt. Okay. Now, after you do that, you'll probably start ignoring this person and muting their calls because you've gotten over them. So when you got over them, they you know they could be trying to project some energy off towards you, send an evil eye. You know, somebody could be dealing with a kitchen witch that ain't never been in love, and now they don't know how to handle rejection. Okay, somebody that they took the bait from. And you don't care because this person's dick is tragic. So you told them to pick up your feelings and move on. And yeah, they're saying, I put somebody else before you because I wanted to. And now that they picked this other person, this person is trying to throw negative energy your way. And this person, you know, they can't communicate properly. So they play music and songs to express their feelings to you. So you need to, like, protect your home and space because some of them songs be, you know, they have rituals in them shit. And you came out of a dark place that left you numb. And this person don't want you to balance yourself out. But just remember, cheaters don't never win, okay? And this person don't really have a reason to be mad at you. They should be mad at themselves because they were spreading rumors about you. Uh, because they have a fear of commitment. And now they see you doing great things in your life like you balling. And they thought that they broke you mentally. So they got with karmic energies, you know, to from, from the past to get, you know, to get a, get to get together and, and talk about you, okay, yeah, she told them bye, now they ain't got nothing to offer to you, okay, why is the collective ignoring the messages of this masculine, because you need to heal your energy, now, if you're still talking to them, you need to ignore them. Because they was ignoring you, right? They sold, they sold. So basically, they went with, you know, they, they left you for money. Okay? Somebody offered them something that has something to do with money, and they left you for it. You may, you know, you may, when you're thinking about this person, if you see angel numbers, like 111, 222, 333, or 22, 22, 11, 11, Mm -hmm. This person is trying to tell you I don't love them. I only use them to make you jealous. It didn't work. Now I lost you. Yeah, they lost you. You lost them. You felt like you lost them. Because they walked away from you. For somebody else. And now you're healing and they want to reconcile with you. Um, What is the message for those, the, the, the collective that this person is coming and wanting to reconcile? What is the message? What is the message? They pretend that they're not proud of you, but they are secretly. So this is the energy of somebody that's coming towards you. This, this, this is your ex. Okay? The same one that, you know, tried to pretend. Like, whatever it is that you do, it wasn't shit. Or they put you on the back burner. Threw you under the bus. Yeah. You told this person to stop stop crying over spilled milk and kick the carton out of the way. Okay, you don't want to hear that shit. Because when they had you in their possession, they didn't do right. Okay? Tell them they don't love you. They just used, them, used somebody to make you jealous. Why would you use somebody to make somebody jealous? Why? Instead of just saying, hey, I'm jealous. That brings enemies and shit. Heart left out. I don't know what Yeah. I chose a third party over you, and now I, I realize that I made a big mistake. Yeah, because you told this person they need to stop crying because everything that you did, you did on your own. Okay? You got stronger. You gathered your strength. They juggled you. And Spirit told you, don't forget who you are. Remember who the fuck you are. And now they're sitting there looking cheated. Okay? That's what my mama used to say. Cheated. Like, um, they feel in some type of way. Confirmation, yeah, they feel some type of They miss seeing you. 
They miss seeing your smile. And they say, can they talk for a little while? But just remember, this person had multiple partners. And they're a hater. Their cold family is haters. They could be coming towards you now. You know, telling you how proud they are. Telling you fuck the, 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 the clown family that, you know, made them go in the uh, opposite direction of being with you. Tell me more how is this? Yep, you stop chasing them. Yep, you was codependent in the relationship. You was, you know, had a fear. Not all of you, but you, you know, this person had you to the point like you, you thought you really had somebody. You really thought that this person was the bee's knees. And um, now you realize that, that, that you business. Okay, and here's the girl with the snake. This person, you know, he, he whoever he was dealing with, they didn't do nothing but use him. They used them up. It was an empath and a narcissist. Okay? And this person could be watching and looking for you. They could be stalking you. Because you don't want to be back with them. And you ain't chasing them. See, when you was with them, you wasn't enough for them to where they had to go out and fuck with somebody else. Then saying I don't I don't love them I only use them to make you jealous. But if you it, I'm, I wasn't enough, so you use somebody else. That don't that don't fit right. Do it. Tell me more. Yep. Wearing a mask, not showing their true feelings. Because they karmic, they karmic friends. They couldn't be who they. If they really truly loved you, they didn't show you. Because their karmic friends was out there, you know, telling them negative shit. And they, you know, they have a female friend that that wanted them to reject you. And they really loved you, but they got a friend that that told them shit. Mm -hmm. This person didn't want them to go on dates or nothing. Didn't want them to meet no one new. Getting out there. Yeah, this could be a karmic ex. Could be part of this family. This could be their karmic ex's family and her. Throwing some shit. Okay. Show me more. They're not talking. Not interested in conversation. No more. They're not. They're not um, texting, calling each other. Or this could be you and this person. You're not texting him. You're not talking to him. Because you found out that he was dealing with the girl with the snake, and you wasn't enough for her. You wasn't enough for him. He was deeply sad and hurt. Um, you could have struck this person with Cupid's arrow, and they and they pulled it out. They snatched out the arrow, the love that they had for you. They let a karmic family come in between. So if you're dealing with the karmic family, we're going to pull some more energy, but I don't want to get my cards all mixed up. So just have a little patience while I move these cards. Did you purchase your ticket for the Karmic Circus yet? All you got to do is hit that thumbs up. Now, if you would like to monetarily, I'm asking everyone to donate to my channel. Because I'm in a tough predicament and I need help. I'm not going to sit here in front. Me and my sons are in a hotel. And um, YouTube is the only job that I have right now. But I am trying to get back on the right track. But right now, I'm asking you, whatever you have, if you have... A dollar left, two dollars and twenty-two cent, three dollars and thirty-three cent, four dollars and forty-four cent. Whatever you have to give, if you got a hundred dollars and eleven cent, two hundred and two hundred dollars and twenty-two cent, 
whatever your heart desires, just send to me if you can. And I thank you in advance. Okay. I ain't gonna sit here in front. I need help. And um, I'm doing better. But I'm still doing these readings every day. And I want to work, but it's hard for me when you have a child that has um, special needs. I have a special need child. And um, confirmation. It's, it's hard for me to get a, a job with the hours, if it's school hours, and I have to try to find a, uh, a workaround job. That's why I try to do mostly self-employed self -employed jobs, my own hours and stuff. Because my son is special. So I can't just take a, a job and, and have a job. Drive way out somewhere. I have to be back at a certain time. Um, I don't want him to be left outside. You know, me trying to get back. It has happened before. So I'm asking everyone to send donations to me. Because I have to every day go and drive my son to school. I have to put gas in my car. I get paid from YouTube once a month. Okay. Um my little side hustles I try to do as much as I can so um it's just it's just it's hard out here I can't lie it's hard keeping clothes washed have to go buy clothes um used to having a, a washer and dryer and my car is full and my truck I have two storages that you know it's just, I'm, I ain't even going to get into that. But anyway, if you're dealing with a, a karmic, karmic cult family, then this reading may have just resonated with you. Now, I pulled some signs out here to see what signs some of you person is or you could, you could be. Okay, Holy Spirit, show me some of the signs that the collective could be dealing with. Taurus energy. Some of you could either be a Taurus or you could be dealing with a Taurus. Close my door because my neighbor in my room, he sees my door open. The little dog did start coming in my, in my video. So I had to shut my door. Hey, mommy. Okay, so Holy Spirit, show me, show me some of the the signs. Uh, and the Taurus showed up, and then I shuffled it again. He came out, so it's most definitely confirmation. Somebody is dealing with the Taurus, or you are a Taurus. Show me, Spirit. Give me two more signs that the collective could be dealing with. Now, if they're not, not a Taurus, they don't have to be a Taurus. These are just some of the signs that came out. You could be the Taurus, okay? My son is a Taurus. Scorpio. So we have um, a Scorpio Jupiter or a Taurus Jupiter out here. Capricorn out here. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus, some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio, and some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. And if you don't like the clown music or you're saying the music is too loud, then you can hit the mute button on the video and then you can hit the closed captions so all you will see is the type is the captions you don't have to listen i hope you can read well you have to know how to read if you got to my channel unless you just a motherfucker out there clicking and don't know what the fuck you're clicking on okay tell me some more signs holy spirit tell me some more signs
a Leo. Another one. So it's a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Leo, Capricorn. Show me some of the signs that, that juggle the collective. Show me a sign that juggle the collective. Somebody is feeling trapped. They're trapped because you floated over the hurt and pain and you caught them doing something. See, this person, they tried to take you down, but they couldn't. You end up getting the last laugh. And now this person is trying to say, I can be your king if you let me. But remember, this is a karmic ass energy. This is a clown. They tried to take you down. Tried to give you a ring. Because they see you doing great things in your life, like you bought. Mm -hmm. They see you sitting on your throne, looking like a queen, looking great, looking like a king, looking great. Spirit, show me more energy. Why did the collective say bye, Felicia? Why did the collective tell this person goodbye? And after you told them goodbye, you gathered your strength. Mm -hmm. You said no more, no more um, trying to juggle me. You balanced yourself out, mm -hmm. and you bougie with your emotions. <laughs> You're not letting this person get close to you because they have a cult family telling them what the fuck to do. It's like they can't think for themselves. Some of you, this is a Taurus. Some of you, this is a Scorpio. Some of you, this is a Capricorn. Some of you, this is a Leo. And some of you, this is a Gemini. Or you could be any of these signs. The spirit is saying you might to get you might need to get more information on this person before, you know, proceeding with them. Check the fine print. It's something you forgot. So it's something that you need to to you know, do your own little research on this person, okay? Before you jump off to something sick, serious, for some of you that this could be an energy coming towards you that has a karmic ass family, that'll be all up in your relationship, okay? So there's the energy of death out here. There's the devil energy. There's the energy of uh, fire and passion and sex. And there's the energy of stubbornness. Somebody could have put an ending to some stubbornness. Somebody could be stubborn when it comes to intimacy. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Their ex is trying to throw negative energy your way. They wanted you them to reject your love, a female clown. And now you're coming out of a dark place that left you numb. You balanced yourself out and realized that cheaters never win. So now you're ignoring their messages and you muted their calls. So this person started, you know, throwing negative energy at you. Okay? And their ex is is throwing negative after they took the bait from the ex that's why they started throwing negative energy towards you they could have been pillow talking with their ex or their ex pillow talking with them and telling them to reject you she's a female clown this person is off balance okay and they're dealing with the evil witch okay a kitchen witch 
this is somebody who who goes in the kitchen and you know tries to mix herbs and spices and and makes teas this could be somebody who you and ate they cooking and shit and they didn't put some sort of spell in the food or put an herb in there to do something to you D different herbs mean certain things okay so you look up the the, the uh spiritual practices spiritual uh things that people do with certain foods spices and stuff okay here's lies deception a cheating ass narcissist that will never change so spirit wants you to take your time back withdraw your energy from you, this person because it's going to be hard to fuck over you because all they want to do is waste your time mm -hmm. this is fuck boy energy in between jobs and they're immature this person is telling you they can be your king if you let them, but you ain't going to let them because you know they can't be. And now since you told them this, this person is throwing evil eye. They don't want you to have no joy and success, joy and success but you're, you have abundance coming your way. Okay. This person is saying they can't eat and sleep. They miss you like crazy. Spirit is saying no because they can sleep. They can eat. They, do, they, they don't miss you. Okay. They lying to you. So tell they ass no. When they lying, they telling you also that they sorry they met you when they was going through a breakup. They wasn't going through no breakup. This was somebody they were still fucking with. Mm -hmm. Somebody that they recruited to talk about you because you knew. You caught them. Mm -hmm. water, water sign. Cancer Pisces, the Scorpio, that's bitter because you don't need them anymore. Okay? And they started dealing with the past karmic energy that wanted to reconcile. And they did, and now you're they're losing sleep. They thought you was going to be losing sleep over there. You came out of that shit. Mm -hmm. And this person came and told you, I don't love them. I only use them, use them to make you jealous. Well, you say, well, it didn't work. Now I lost you. Yep. And you having fun in the sun. Mm -hmm. And this is toxic love, and they was trying to pull you back in. A master manipulator. But see, you, you, you may not be aware of this. That somebody could have told you a person they was pregnant to break y'all up. Mm -hmm. Some somebody he said that was a true friend that started stalking your energy. Spirit is saying to just watch your surroundings and do nothing, speak nothing, do not react, just observe. Because somebody out here they used to have a big ego, a big pride. Uh, they was a big spender. This person has a weakness for the same sex, so they started paying a practitioner and watching and waiting for the results because they see you doing great things in your life. And now this person gonna reap what they sow, and they gonna be reaching out to you soon. Because they see you sitting on your grunt, your throne looking great, and they don't want that to happen to you. They tried to take you down, but you got the last laugh. Mm -hmm. By taking your keys back, your lock, you locked your house, you locked your cars, because you said you've been there and done that. And now this person may be coming, trying to come towards you empty-handed in the shame. Okay? Wanting to say, can um, they spend some time with you, but there's no marriage in the future with this person. They ain't thinking about marriage. They're just coming towards you because they see you doing great. Now they want to come and lie and tell you they mapped their ex getting black magic on them. And they're cleaning their energy. They ain't cleaned their energy from the ex because she's the main culprit. That's, you know, she's a side chick energy. That's, it's her family that's throwing shit. Okay? That wants to take your spot. So let her have it. Okay? They thought that they broke you because the side piece wanted your, your spot. You let them have it. You know, this person, they really don't have a reason to be mad at you. They matter they sell because they have a fear of commitment. Mm -hmm. So they started spreading rumors, trying to blackmail you or they're being blackmailed. And you told this person, when you leave, don't forget to pick up your fucking feelings. And now this person is secretly hating on your success. They're trying to message you and you ain't been listening. You know, you let them have the last word. Now you're not, you're not responding to them. They said some real foul, messed up shit. And you told this person, look, I'm taking, I'm taking full control of my life. Okay, you need to heal your energy. And this is giving this person a tower moment. Because you realize that they was just a squirrel trying to get a nut. And you're like, well, you ain't getting these nuts. Okay, some of you, your person is dealing with the hidden races. They could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that they sold they sold to for money. So they dealing with somebody, you know, sold they sold right back to back. They, they sold they sold to somebody that just didn't want them with you and this person is a racist. You know, and now somebody's pretending that they're not proud of you, but secretly they are. And they're disappointed in the decisions that they made and they're working on themselves. There's no recovery, no reconciliation, no reunion behind, between you and this person. And now they're feeling trapped. Because mm -hmm. you healed. You've learned to uh, burn sage, Palo Santo. You're taking spiritual baths and you got strong enough to tell this person.
to stop crying over spilled milk and kick the carton out of the way. You didn't say it in that way, but you told them to get over it, okay? You need to protect your energy from false people in your space. Now, after you protected your energy, you try to tell this person to protect it, you know, the energy. And this person can't communicate, and they play games, they play music and songs to express their feelings. You told this person, I could have did it on my own. Okay, and you didn't like the intimacy between you and this person. They was putting others before you because they wanted to, and now you're doing good. They envy in your success. Okay? And this is a smart mouth as motherfucker. And again, this could be a, a Taurus. This could be a Scorpio. This could be a Gemini. Or this could be a Leo. Or you could be one of them signs. But you done shaped up and shipped out. And this person, you will never let them do you how they did you before. Or you, these are the red flags that you've seen in this person that you're not going to allow no one else to get this, like, you know, to do this to you. So if this reading resonated with you, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next reading. Peace out.